to the Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg. Between the two agencies, we cover launch and then activity in space and the coordination. Um, you may think of it like historically how you think of the FAA and, and the regulation of traffic. Well, similar adoption of policy and, and coordination must take place in a very coordinated way within our government as it relates to activity in space. So thank you, Madam Secretary. Secretary Buttigieg, thank you for the work that the department is doing. And in particular, again, the Department of Transportation has a role to regulate space launch activity. And so my question to you is, at, given that role and given also the, 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 the rapidity at which the technology is evolving, how is the department thinking about updating and upgrading um, its rules of the road around regulation of space launch? Well, uh, thank you, Madam Vice President, first of all, for, for your leadership of, of this body and in this area. We're, we're thrilled to be with our uh, colleagues and, and such a distinguished audience. Uh, as you say, this is about coordinating uh, the launch and reentry processes. One way we think of it is if, uh, if orbit is to be thought of as the beltway, uh, we're particularly concerned with the on-ramps and the off-ramps, mm -hmm. launch and mm -hmm. re-entry. So the department right now is addressing this through new regulations that became effective in March of this year, which enhance the requirements to avoid collisions with other objects during commercial launches and re-entries, and to prevent the creation of new debris during those, those phases of the flight. Uh, building on that for the immediate future, the department's going to be uh, addressing safety and sustainability through a new regulation on orbital degree, debris mitigation. Uh, so the idea, which we hope to uh, be ready to propose in spring of 2022, is to make sure we're not creating unnecessary debris that would inhibit future space operations, and that we have means to take care of what is placed into orbit. So this FAA orbital rule would apply strictly to commercial launches, uh, but it would be informed by NASA documentation to inform that regulation. And throughout the process, we're harmonizing with international entities through the Interagency Space Debris Coordinating Committee, which is one reason why we're, we're so pleased to see so many uh, international partners represented here. And we want to explore policy that will limit the non-functional items that are allowed into space in the first place trying to take a, a broader view on uh, all of the different uh, implications of uh, not just the launch process, but our spaceports as well. Um, you noted the uh, rapid increase in activity, and just to put that in perspective, uh, we've seen the number of launches double even after the previously record-breaking numbers last year when it came to commercial space travel. And we're actually getting close to the point where we will see more commercial launches on an annual basis than what we were accustomed to seeing over the course of about a decade. Uh, so we are gearing up, and it's very much the right time, I think, for this body to be playing that coordinating role that you mentioned that's so important, and we're looking forward to carrying on that work. Thank you. And um, can't em emphasize enough the importance of the Department of Transportation of the United States um, being a leader, not only in what we do in terms of our activity as a nation, but really coordinating and helping to set the global standards uh, for, for space launch, but also for the activity that relates to debris and, and congestion and all of that. So thank you, Mr. Secretary. Um